When you activate the old Marvin near Hammond Labs, you get a new message from Dr. Amelie P, but what does she say? And what does it even mean? Let's try to put together the pieces. First, let's listen to the voice recording. Log 25. This is Dr. Amelie We've managed to fly arm, fly arm over here. Thanks to the additional funding from Chevrolet City. This is last week. Project Iris is off for the event. We are starting about the future of the Outlands. Alaki and myself. Us and our Marvin Pathfinder. Making history. And up. End log. Reloading. That voice sounded familiar. Maybe she knows my creator. A lot of this voice line is purposely cut out, leaving us curious about the message and what it could mean. But one key piece of information is given to us, Iris. Where have we heard that before? Back in season five, Bangalore made a comment about Iris when talking about Wraith's labs. Here's what that voice line says now. Makes sense they'd have a research facility down here. Especially after what happened with Iris. So, this still doesn't really fill in the cracks, but it's clear that Bangalore knew what happened. At least we know Iris is now a project name and not a name of a person or a place. My guess it's all tied to the energy crisis. Bangalore herself even said that the charge towers were originally designed to power multiple planets. All this IMC research? We gotta help the Outlands. Buried under dirt. What a waste. Word on Gridiron was that these charge towers were meant to supply power to multiple planets one day. Guess we'll never know now. The whole energy crisis thing seems to be at the center of the story, and like I said in my previous video covering the Fight Night cinematic, it seems Pathfinder was designed with a clear goal in mind, to somehow stop the energy crisis. For those wondering, Chevrex is the company owned by Lifeline's parents. They are war profiteers that manufactured for both sides of the war, but as we learned in the Season 7 comic, they're known for creating drones, and were perhaps even responsible for creating Lifeline's drone, so it makes sense they'd give funding for the Marvin that ultimately ended up becoming Pathfinder. We also know that Alakai seems to be another scientist that worked on solving this energy crisis. In fact, we first hear of their name in a loading screen for Season 7, where another character called Lillian Peck is writing a message to Horizon. Essentially, all of these people are names being thrown about, and they give us a bit more information about the story, but the story of what happened that led to the rift being created and what happened to Pathfinder are still unknown. However, we can start to piece together this story. Let's read this first loading screen here. They all looked at me with blank stares, as if I had said some nonsense like, well, that's only if x equals the temperature of the negative space, not the specimen itself. Yes, my old friend, I still use that joke to get out of conversations with wannabe scientists now and again. They never know how to answer and just agree. But unfortunately, this wasn't a joke. This energy crisis is real. Alakai's researchers on Olympus have shown me almost too many scenarios that all end in disaster by 2699. The Outlands weren't built for long term. It was just exploration until the IMC returned. But those years turned into centuries and now we're paying the price. I've got another presentation to other benefactors coming up and could use your help. Bring your whole family. Bring Reed. You're going to need that assistant. It'll be just like old times. Plus, I'd love to see my little Newton again. I am his godmother after all. Hope I can count on you, and if it doesn't work, we may have to do this thing ourselves. Love you, dear Peck. Lillian Peck here is talking very endearingly to Horizon. Horizon, Peck, Emily, and Alakai are all connected. They're all involved in trying to solve the energy crisis. We do also learn in one of the season 6 loading screens that Lillian Peck is still alive. She signed for the ship to be transported to Olympus. Let's read that loading screen. There's some Korean in here, I'll just read the English translation as we go. Hmm, that's weird. Hammond built a shuttle on World's Edge during the seasonal hiatus. But why? The security on their flight logs is a joke. It is called the Arcadia. Flight clearance signed by Peck. Lillian. Looks like a generic authorization. Coded Brant Pi. The ship has no offensive capabilities but a long manifest. Looks like they're moving scientific equipment and supplies. Destination. What? That can't be right. I need to dig deeper. Aish. I wish I could get some help. 
So Crypto is obviously seemingly quite concerned about what's going on here. The ship is being transported to Olympus. Obviously Crypto is trying to discover the truth, but we don't know exactly what's happening here. Now just for some more information here to kind of put together this story, there are still some pieces missing, but we can slowly put together the story. We need to read the Peck Foundation, which tells us more about who Lillian Peck is. History of the Outlands, excerpt from Chapter 4, The Peck Foundation. In 2640, billionaire humanitarian Lillian Peck built Olympus, a city in the sky where people of all socio-economic backgrounds could work and learn together. It excelled in areas of science, mathematics, music, literature, and the arts. Olympus produced a number of breakthroughs for the Outlands, including developments in eco-friendly jump drives for short-distance vessels, a phase technology for immediate transportation called the Phase Runner, and drone technology for health and security systems. All were welcome, hoping to usher in a golden era for the Outlands. But instead, these researchers made a troubling discovery. All energy resources throughout the Outlands were on a rapid decrease. In less than 20 years, they would be non-existent. So obviously there's still some details hidden in plain sight, but it all leads back to the energy crisis. Lillian Peck seems to potentially still be alive or they're using her authorization somehow. There's some details there. Obviously we have this core group of scientists trying to solve the Outlands crisis. They kind of just disappear and suddenly the, the energy crisis isn't such an issue anymore. And this perhaps brings us right back to the Planet Harvester. This is also related to energy. This is a press statement draft for the Planet Harvester. From the core systems to the Outlands, Hammond Robotics has been at the forefront of innovation since its foundation by Dr. Heinrich Hammond in 2131. Our new Hammond Robotics is committed to leading the Outlands in extraordinary breakthrough solutions in colonial manufacturing, transportation, and security. Today we are proud to introduce our new advanced development in energy distribution, the Hammond Robotics Planet Harvester. Now, the Planet Harvester is designed to draw resources and then distribute the energy it creates to nearby planets. So we can assume this is Hammond's new solution for the energy crisis, but something tells me it's not the original vision that the Olympus scientists originally wanted, and who knows how that could end up in the future. I should also make it very clear, Hammond Robotics are the people basically responsible for getting Revenant alive, they played a very vital role in the war, and we can kind of consider them pretty immoral, to be honest. Things that they did, the experiments they run, were very immoral. Now that the war is over, they're trying to rebrand themselves as this amazing company, bringing life to the forefront of the Outlands. We know that's a lie, but to me it seems like a control move. They want to take control of the Outlands, and they may be doing a pretty good job at it, and they may be behind what happened with the scientists at Olympus. Ultimately, it's as if all the pieces are almost there, but there's missing puzzle pieces in the story. We will get to it eventually. Hopefully this video has been insightful, and maybe you have learned a thing or two about the evolving story surrounding the Outlands energy crisis. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio!